Because the exam are done in one setting, mm. in just few hours. But I believe that the, the real test of the teaching is really, really, really in the classroom. If okay. you can handle the, the pressure of the classroom, if you can handle the, uh, the requirements, especially more of the transfer of the teaching. Because that's the main thing. Yeah, that's the main thing. 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 That's the uh, a while ago, I was so stuck because it states here that a professional teacher should avoid drunkenness, smoking, should avoid the certain conduct. So for me, licensure is just to formally install a teacher as a professional. But I don't see that those who didn't pass with the people because it's too very unfair. Imagine they also uh, took the, the years of, of, of studying and education and then just because they did it one certain area, that's in the qualities, but well, the subject is in our country that you will be considered a professor and you can pass even the civil service and the professional business for this time. So I did not take the decision to say for this because I am a magnacarta. The magnacarta is uh, all our, all the basis is our performance. How do you perform from the first we started teaching? I guess that was for 10 years. Was that a summer for us not to focus on the time before the year? Okay, because there are really those who did not pass. Because maybe some, some, there are some people who are, who are tense when, when they take exam, though they know, but when they are taking the exam, they go the pain and that. So what the, the administration did was to offer a magnacarta. So we were evaluated according to the performance of our, of our teaching in a certain school. So I guess that's what does we can say about being a magnacarta. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. What are the benefits of the teacher now? About to help the teacher? If we will be talking about benefits, let's not expect much financial side. Like, like, yeah, a teacher will not become rich, a teacher will not become a billionaire. <laughs> But a teacher will become a millionaire, not in material things, with personal, with relationship. And I think that's the most important thing. And what's about health? Before, I, I, I'm really a temperamental teacher, but I'm not control. Because it does not help. It does not help you, just to help the students. Because what will, what will be the transfer of knowledge is the own work. Like when you're under the certain classes of students, you hold in. And then this is just making me realize that you will become professional. Oh, it's not this type of was called in it, it was called in my subordinate. So, if you want to, to be healthy, just be very patient. Just keep calm. 
It's better to talk to us. It's very easy, very calmly. And honestly, ask. Okay, there are times. Yeah, also before I used to ask those students, I realized it's not really good. Okay, so it's not only toxic on my part. Because after that, it's going to be something that you feel guilty. And you will sleep with that girl, and I believe it's not really good. It's very different when you end your class well. No hands on the bag to do such a thing because when you wake up the next morning, you will realize oh my God, I'm going to do it. Next question. <laughs> Preparation. I am a teacher. I am a teacher. I am a teacher. I am a teacher. I I a And even your Saturday and Sunday, yeah, you could also spend time for that. That's the only time you can you can sit and you can relax and you can really say, what have I done? Yes, I do that. What have I done? Is this? Oh my God, it has been many good places. I just have a Monday. I'm going to make some 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 uh, changes. Like I have to ask for forgiveness for the same thing I was going to. Especially Friday, uh, we were able to join a student in the college no class. But we have to make an effort. So for me, our task to teach us to really make it well for the people. It really has to expand because every day, every minute, we are a teacher. And we we'll only see the teacher. For this forever, it's a lifetime. Okay, I, I, like me, I, I really plan to shift because I, I was thinking, what will I do? For example, I will sit down with I will be bored. Because the preparation, the girl preparation is going to be the yeah, for me, I will not limit on money. Apparently, then the benefits would be the fact that we have a lot of people. Quote unquote, they might be praying for you, who might also be taking care of you when you will be old. Like, for example, your nurses, your doctor, students, they will once and once in a while will come to you. So I guess the benefit would be more that you have to part on a certain journey in which you have you have left, left behind a certain legacy of people. Yeah, of course, that's what that's what you look up to. My God, in my return, I should have one million. My God, in my return, this and that. But we have not thought, we forgot, especially a tissue that when you will return, you have millions of people, including millions, a lot of people behind you. Who are willing to help you? And I guess that should be the, the, the greatest and the best benefit that a teacher will have. More than that. They were actually molding people, they were actually building futures. And I, whether we like it or not, we will not demand it. We should be, we should be grateful to you. Like but there are some people who will just give it to you voluntarily. Oh, sir, you were my teacher before, you did, you did this and that. They will just come. And I guess that would be the great benefit that the teacher should consider all the time. Mm -hmm. What is your message to your students, sir? My message to my students would be 
take uh, the opportunity to learn. Do not waste time because time is precious. And do not only consider yourself. Don't be selfish to take all the education for you. We have this communal responsibility to extend and share whatever we have to people. Like that's what I always have in my economic and social education. Economic is a social science that do the study of funds, making a living by utilizing the scarce resources. But I will add, conscious of this communal responsibility to share whatever resources you will have. I, I even told him, if you become manager or owner of this of the future, consider your worker, because what happened in our country, this is my this good attention. I will not obey him. But I told him, when you, when you accelerate, when you will be able to develop yourself, bring you to your workers. I, like, yes. Admitted the interpreter that this is an age to do this. It's for me, it's for me. I'm even happy with Chinese women who are bringing up their work. So if you want, because it will also offer them, it will be a great happiness for you. If you see them, your work, having lifted up their status in life on themselves, because of you, because they share. Okay, there are times we forget that whatever we have to be shared to other people, we shouldn't keep it as the especially as teachers. I don't have to keep this to them because this is my own system. This is, this is my, my own system. But no, we should also give to them what we what we may have. Even our time, there are time our resources, yeah, like the public in the public school, the one spending the one spending for my students. So that's really the reality. Even if they are not our blood kin, but because they are with us, we are also parents. That's our second role as teacher. We are also parents in the school. As parents, we don't say colors, we don't say status. That we, well, only we do the same because they are beautiful, they are intelligent. But in fact, our role is what God in the Bible. We have to lift up the lowly. That is the most, that is the greatest mission that we have as a teacher. For us to lift up those lowly, to, to consider the value of their life. Yeah, yeah, actually, I understand that in the classroom, we, we want to, I want to finish my, my, my lecture. So we must put this uh, less intelligent. We always call those okay because that's our dream. People, you will realize it's a great feeling, it's my great achievement that I was able to meet those who are lonely, who are intellectually challenged, individual, so to say, to lift themselves up to learn and to participate. Because sometimes we reject our biases, and we should really avoid our biases and achievements. <laughs> During my time, my God, my friend, you should not inject those things like like what you have experienced because they are a different group of people, different students, different students. So never to compare yourself to them. I bring my own aspiration. I can't do. You should be for me the same. It's definitely not different. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time.